I originally wanted to be an architect, totally different pathway. And then I decided that I kind of wanted to help people in a different way, in a more active, direct way. And so I was brainstorming and then I decided why not the medical field would open up the opportunity for me to either go to the hospital and do clinicals there or I could do the EMT program. And so I had ended up deciding to do the EMT one because I would be able to get exposure to the hospital and exposure to the emergency room. And it would take place in a different class setting. I wouldn't be in a typical classroom at my high school. I would be at the fire station, taught directly by paramedics. So that really interested me to get out of my comfort zone and to really see if I can handle the exposure to blood or people crying or dying or in of life-threatening situations. The first day of class, I remember how nervous I was, but I was mostly excited. And so we're wearing uniforms with people we've never seen before. We got to tour the fire station and figure out more about our equipment and what we would use if we're gonna continue this profession. And then after, when they felt we were ready when, with teaching us more content, then we were able to do ER clinicals and ride the ambulance. And so we got to see different patient scenarios and direct contact with patients. So bedside manner with professionality. They prepare you with um, a textbook for you to read. They teach you in class. You get direct hours of exposure and experience with patients. You learn CPR. You learn what do you think when you first see a patient. Then you learn about medicine the simple medicines, because it's EMT basic. And there's ways you can climb up in the branch too, which they explain. You can become an EMT basic, you can become an advanced EMT, or you could be a paramedic, which is the highest level. They're trying to reach us high schoolers. They're trying to improve the EMT system. They're constantly trying to adapt to the new improvements in the medical field, with whether it's technology or medicine or patient care of how they can treat the patient more efficiently. They wanted to emphasize that this is a job and a lifestyle, not just not just something you do to earn money. They give you two years to take the exam once you complete the course. And I've already taken it once and they paid for that, but I needed to get one more question correct to pass it and get my license. Unfortunately, I'm gonna retake it because you get three chances to take the test and you have to do it in a span of two years from the time you're certified. So that's basically how it works for actually getting your certification and license. It was a little difficult to receive the results of me not passing the first time, especially because I got an A in the class, in the course, but tests I kind of struggle on personally, but I really want to succeed the second time because that'll really help me get hours in for my degree. I want to be a nurse practitioner who works in the ER and this experience, even though I decided to continue my college education, if someone decides not to, this, they can use the same steps I used to impact their career if they wish to pursue the med field. College isn't for everyone, and so if you're passionate about what you want to do in the future, but you just that college isn't for you, then these type of career pathways and courses really help make it feasible to prepare high schoolers for the professional atmosphere that they're going to step into when they graduate. And it was it was probably the best career choice I made in high school. It was definitely an impactful experience that I'll never forget.